Today, we're jumping straight into accountability from a feminine and masculine perspective. So Mark, what would you say is accountability from a masculine perspective? Well, from a masculine perspective, accountability is about um, really like aligning your actions and your words. And whenever those things don't align, because sometimes that does happen, uh, accountability means like, what do you do when that does happen? Do you blame and do you shift guilt away? Do you, uh, you know, put it off on somebody else? Or do you make up an excuse? Or do you say, yeah, that was me. I did that thing. Yeah. Here, Here is what we're going to do about it. Yeah. And I think that's the masculine thing to do when it comes to accountability, because no one's perfect and things happen over time. But how you respond is really the most important factor in, in that situation. Yeah. I mean, the, the accountability goes two ways. I mean, of course, it goes, it needs to be, the feminine also needs to be accountable. And it, it's connected to the trust that we spoke about last week. And um, the accountability, as you say, it's about owning whatever is mine <clears throat> on all levels. Like in the relationship, what is what is my responsibilities? What is What am I doing? How am I? Uh, manifesting my own traumas how am I you know it's about uh, it's like aligning the energies and owning that on both parts because if we don't step into our true energy like our true polarity and yeah. we we kind of because we both have feminine and masculine uh, aspects in our energy it's just a, a, a matter of how much so every person has feminine energy, every person has masculine energy, but some people are more or less of the other. And it can be also an imbalance within the masculine or within the feminine. So a lot of that we will talk about in our course, The Sacred Union, in, that starts in February to understand what, where am I on the scale, what am I doing, and where am I unbalanced? And that is like taking accountability for that and not blaming and judging and shaming yourself or the other. Because if we are out of balance, that is something, something happened to us. It's not like we walk around wanting to be unbalanced. Usually it's a, it's an unconscious decision that happens over time. And it's usually connected to <laughs> un, like non-harmonic, harmonic, like it's, it's not harmony. It didn't, right. it didn't, it didn't come out of, you know, being loved and cherished <laughs> and held through your life. You know, it's, it's, it's the opposite. So it's about not blaming oneself for what I've been through and not blaming the other for what that person has been through, but also yeah. learning to separate it being, it's like being in the corner of your polarity and, and taking accountability for that. That's how I see it basically. Yeah. Well, I have an, an illustrative example uh, from, from a, pre a previous relationship in which I was learning about accountability. Um, we were on a, like a, a budget and we were trying really hard to be, you know, financially responsible. Um, but I was the least financially responsible person that there was. <laughs> and um, I was constantly overspending. Uh, but one, one month I kind of like, you know, overspent quite a bit. And my partner was very angry at me and said, you know, I need you to take accountability for this issue. And the masculine energy wants to fix problems right away. Solution oriented, fix it. And I said, I got this, I fix it. So I went to the pawn shop and I sold my guitar to make make up for the the, the lost uh, spenditure. Uh, and then I, I gave my partner the cash. <clears throat> uh, but then she was more furious at me. She said, yeah. why did you do such a stupid thing? And I was like, I was, I was just trying to get the money back. And, and what she wanted from me was not a fix it accountability. She wanted an emotional accountability. She wanted reassurance that I understood the depth and the nature of the problem so that I didn't do it again. Because if I would just continued on that route, I would have sold everything that we owned and just kept overspending <laughs> and not really learned the lesson. Uh, and yeah. it took me um, until that relationship ended to actually understand more about emotional accountability. So well, that's yeah. a fantastic, um, I mean, 
in a fantastic example from from life because that's exactly what it is it's like the masculine things like oh i fixed it now here's the money but it's not about that it's about the pattern it's about the behavior it's about the you know doing it over and over again and like not the the feminine not feeling the trust that the masculine makes good decisions that is good for you know short term and long term and the funny thing is that i was so proud of myself for selling the guitar (laughs) like i fixed it (laughs) Ta da! <laughs> and I was expecting her to like rejoice me, you know. But then, and then she was really angry at me. And I was like, "Why are you mad? I fixed the problem, you know." But this is the masculine feminine dance, you know. That yeah. when it, it's unbalanced and not, and unaware, uh, you know, of, of emotional regulation and nervous system. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so in the sacred, the rise of the sacred union, it's our relationship course that uh, six week online course starting February fourteen, of course. Uh, 2024 so we're building up to that now and so if you know that you want to join us we have an early early bird uh, in the month of November so you can sign up and really dive deep into these different aspects and these different topics so we will deep dive into six different topics we will teach you about the feminine and the masculine the the band the dance and the polarities and how to anchor yourself into your polarity and figure out okay where am i on the scale what am i doing and what what is it about my the my core energy that maybe i need to learn or take accountability for and 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 practice because it is a practice it's about knowledge it's about practice and it's about doing the somatic work to connect it back to the nervous system because that's where it all happens. If you're unbalanced, that's where you're unbalanced. It's in the nervous system and you can restore that. So together with us, you can restore <laughs> your polarities. And it's not only for couples, it's for singles too. It can be for parents, teachers. I mean, any any person who wants to better their relationships, basically, because you will learn and you can you will also learn to navigate and to identify where other people are at because you 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 know the foundations of the polarities. So I would say that this is a very important one because peace starts in the home and that's where we create you know, real conscious leaders. And uh, if we can create harmony in the home and between people with true communication and um, yeah, less conflict and more balance, then that's going to change the world. And that's our mission. Beautiful. Yeah, it is. So thank you everyone for tuning in and sign up on livingwiththespirit.com. The information about the sacred union will be under the online bar and i hope to see you there cheers ciao